Here it goes, my first day of high school. The place where young men and women graduate and become working members of society. The place where adolescents learn the value of responsibility, social skills, and hard work. The place where we are expected to give it our best because this is where it counts the most. This is the moment I've been waiting for my whole 14 years of living. I'll be spending the next four years here, so let's make the best of it. Welcome class to Freshman Butt Kicking 101. I'm your teacher today and I'll teach you all the skills I've picked up over the years of kicking a freshman's butt. So who wants to be a volunteer? You? How about you freshman, huh? You coming to my class late? You look easy to break. No. Oh yeah? We'll see. No! 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 You know, once upon a time, I was really excited for my first day of high school. Now, I don't even know how to feel. So many people told me the horrendous things seniors do to freshmen. When freshmen go into the senior section at lunch, they throw food at them. Some say they have a sixth sense for smelling freshmen. They know they're there before they see them. So last year, the seniors took the freshman on a flagpole and he was stuck there for three weeks. One time, Bianca Owens blew her nose and threw the tissue in my face. I still have it. But, I don't know. Maybe it won't be as bad as I think. Hopefully. I'm trying to be optimistic here. So who's excited for their first day of school? I guess this is the part where I'm supposed to say me. Oh, come on, little brother. Cheer up. I made your favorite breakfast. Pancakes with turkey bacon? Well, we ran out of pancake mix, and we have veggie bacon, not turkey bacon. I'll just take Cocoa Puffs. What are you laughing at? It looks like we're eating hamster poop. So, you're going to high school? You're going to see a lot of big kids. Yeah, I know. And they're going to be giants. They're going to squash you and make your guts ooze out like gushers. Just be glad I don't do that to you, Dylan. Oh, stop it, both of you. <laughs> Gabe, it's going to be fine. These are the best years of your life. You just need to enjoy it because after this, you're just going to get fat, work a lot, and die. Bye, Val. Bye. Okay, this is actual life. Had to make sure. Well, here it goes. My first day at high school. The moment I've been waiting for my 14 years of living. Get out of my way. Well, here goes nothing. I guess they're laughing because I'm obviously a freshman. I'm holding on to my schedule for my dear life, looking around the school like I'm a tourist. The only thing that's missing is my cheap Hawaiian shirt and my Polaroid camera. Nobody else really has it. That's a stupid baby. Gentlemen, do you know where room D07 is? Yeah, I know exactly where it is. Come on. Oh. And I also have a 175 pound backpack. I couldn't blend in even if I tried. Hey, excuse me? Do you know when class starts? About two minutes, you better hurry. So far, so good. 
No violence yet. Am I late? No, we're just listening to the principal in the morning announcements. Good morning, South Bay HS. I, is that some kind of joke or an acronym or something? Is that an acronym? I, oh, high school. Good morning, South Bay High School. Welcome to a brand new school year of academic excellence. This is your principal, Bose, speaking. I would like to welcome you all. I, I would like to especially welcome our latest addition to our family, our freshmen. Me, fresh meat men, freshmen. I hope you upperclassmen are making them feel at home. What in the world happened to you? Class started five minutes ago. Uh, some seniors pushed. I fell in the school pond. Get up, get up! You stupid freshmen are useless. Right? Like this freshman couldn't even catch a ball if you handed it to him. Here, toss it to me. Just <laughs> acting like you can't even hear us. Real cool, man. Hello? Hey, how was your first day of school? Oh, you know, it was great. I met a lot of new friends and whatnot. Good, I'm really glad. I was kind of worried that some seniors dumped you in a pool or something. Uh, that was another kid. Oh, huh. So how was Dylan's first day? Uh, Dylan! <laughs> it's Valerie. Hello? Hey Dylan, how was your first day of school? Great, I ate at a grasshopper. Oh. That was Dylan. Oh, well at least he had some fun. Yeah. So, I better get back to work because my boss is going to have a cow if I don't, but I'm really glad you guys had good days at school. Alright, thanks. Love you too. Since my half-sister is working two jobs and doesn't get home till around 10, I have to make sure that my brother does his homework, eats his dinner, takes a bath, and gets to bed at 9. Dylan, bath time! It is now day number two. Maybe this day would be better. Sure, yesterday I was laughed at in the hallways and humiliated in the gym, but hey, maybe seniors only picked on freshmen the first day. Or maybe not. Watch where you're going! But you bumped into me! Wait, did you just correct me? You know what I do to freshmen who correct me? Tell them, Rodney. I'm stuff. Stop! Stop! I didn't even bump into you! Come on, stop! <laughs> right. Someone, please help. Come on. <laughs> You're just gonna sit there and laugh at me? Alright, that's fine. I'll chill in here then. Jerks! Got him. Thanks, guys. Like, really. My name's Gabe, by the way. Shut up. We don't really care. <laughs> Dude, just, just totally kidding. Don't pee your pants. My name's Dean, by the way. This is Sierra, and this is Samantha. Call me Sam for short. Hey, Sam for short. You must be a freshman. You guessed it. Don't worry, we were in your position last year. Oh, cool, you guys are sophomores? Don't get happy. <laughs> we're not that cool. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, you look familiar. Aren't you from our culinary arts class? Oh yeah, you're the girl that told me to shut up. Oh, um, look, don't sorry about that. It's, it's not because you're a freshman or anything, it's just, I'm, I'm just, just like that. Just... Well, wait, you're in our culinary arts class? I didn't even see you yesterday. Wow, a preach. Ah. Did you really just abbreviate appreciate and awkward? That's what all the cool kids are saying. <laughs> Dude, you're not that cool. You just got stuffed in a trash can like a Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, uh, uh, there's the bell. You guys, we better get off to culinary arts class. We're gonna be late. Okay. Absolutely.
Wait, wait. Good morning, morning class. I'm so excited. It's our second day of culinary arts and we are making snickerdoodles today. How many of you love snickerdoodles? I do, it's my daughter's favorite. I'm so excited. So let's get into groups of two, move to your workstations. Quick, quick, quick. Me and you, Sam? Of course. Hey, can I be in your guys' group? Sorry, Peterson said to your group. But Dean does have a partner, and Dean, you're a culinary arts genius, aren't you? Oh yet? yeah, I, I cook good. I could probably even buy my own spatula. Okay, let's go to the station. Hey guys, you'll find everything you need under the counter, all the ingredients, everything to get your cookies started. All right? Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I already got my spatula, so I don't even have to. Yeah, I know. We need good This is gonna be the best. Stop it! Sorry, I love my confectionaries. <laughs> Overall, the class did a swell job on making their cookies. Mrs. Peterson was pleased with everyone until she saw our cookies. Oh dear, what happened here? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm more of a cup and noodle kind of guy. Oh, those aren't looking so good. So, how do you like South Face so far? You know, it's a blast. Getting tripped in the hallways, stuffed in garbage cans. There's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was a dumb question, huh? Uh, yeah, well, I just don't understand why seniors have to pick on us freshmen. Yeah, I understand. We were in this situation last year. Yeah, seriously, being a freshman is difficult. I mean, high school is like a food chain. And I hate to break it to you, but you're at the bottom. Hey guys, the cafeteria is this way. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're so low, uh, you'll get melted by the heat's core. Okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> but don't worry, we got your backs. We can be your guide. Mm -hmm. Right on. <laughs> Let me explain the cafeteria to you. The cafeteria is the melting pot of all the different subcultures of high school. Over here, you got your freaks and geeks. Clearly, the more intellectual options you have. In that corner, misfits. Uh, over there, Gangsters. Yeah, the office with the principal, she was like, no, you can't. That's same. Um, drama kids. Uh, band geeks. And then over in that corner there, we have the cool seniors. So, did you guys like hear about that? No, I don't care. Oh my god. But I knew it was cool. They're the mixture of the most likely filthy rich and always ready to party. These are the people you never want to cross. Their clan consists of mostly popular seniors. No freshman is allowed to go sit with them. No freshman is even allowed to walk over there. Now, what I was telling you about the seniors is not for the faint of heart. I'm telling you this because I want you to be safe. We've learned from experience. I haven't left my backpack alone since that day. Last year, I had a habit of leaving my backpack lying around. What are you looking at? You're a backpack over there. I think it's that nerdy girl's backpack. I've got an idea. I mean, no one had ever touched it before, so I thought it would be fine. Boy, was I wrong. One time when I left it out, Bianca and a couple of her friends put mustard all over the inside, and I smelled like mustard for the entire day. the advice guys, but I already know about how evil they are. You guys saw me earlier. Those three seniors just won't leave me alone. Well, at least you don't have to share any classes with them. I have gym with them. Next period. Ouch. You're good. Well, I guess I'm about to find out now. Okay. Wait! Fistic for the road? Yeah. 
All right, I want you guys to run this track four times. That equals one mile. And I want it done in less than seven minutes. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, I want to see those feet running. Let's go. Right. Got like hey, Gabe. Hey, nice job running, man. Thanks. You already got a lap done in one minute. Ooh, let's see ya. What's up with you? Stupid seniors. Oh no, what did they do now? One of them put a kick me sign on my back and everyone was kicking me all period. Even the teacher. Those jerks. And the worst part is, I have to go back there tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. Well, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, uh, why don't we all get together tonight and go see a movie or something? That sounds great, but my sister has to work late tonight, and I have to watch after my brother. That's okay, we'll go over to your house, and I'll bring over a bunch of my movies, and we can decide what we want to watch then. Not the scary ones. I hate the scary ones. Wait, did he date Johnny Worthington? <laughs> that gets scary than that. Shut it, Dean. That sounds great, That's Sam. nothing scary. I'll call you tonight, unless you know when we're coming over. Okay, bye. See you later. I was so lucky to have friends like Dean and the Babes <laughs> in my life. Every time I had a bad day, they were there for me. I could always look forward to us hanging out as my solace through my stressful days in gym. We would do all kinds of things, like go to the mall, go to movies, hang out at each other's house. You know, typical teen stuff. And when we talked on the phone, we could talk about anything. And I mean anything. Ugh, gross. Gabe just said that Dino crapped his pants. <laughs> And I think my brother was growing fond of Samantha. Thanks to my new friends, the first nine weeks went by so quick. Now we're in the second nine weeks. You'd think those three seniors would have found something else to obsess about rather than make my life miserable in gym. But unfortunately, they haven't. My sister was worried for me. Are you sure you don't want me to come to the school and talk to the principal? No, Val, that would be embarrassing. What, have your half-sister come pick you up, talk to the principal, and come to the rescue? <sighs> but you know those bullies are only picking on you because they're insecure with themselves. The coolest and most popular seniors being insecure? About what? All right, guys, we're seniors, and we don't have a lot of time to make our mark. We guys are thinking about our senior prank. Senior pranks are kind of dumb, though. You're dumb. Do you have any ideas? What if we vandalize the principal's car? That's a crime. We could go to jail for that. Not if we paint our faces. They'll never know it was us. Anyways, <clears throat> I want to do something not so. Something really cool. I want to do the unthinkable. Well, if you think about it, it's not unthinkable. Bianca, just stop talking. Yo, freshman, out of here! Get out of here! Stop doing something. Yo, craziest idea just here. Wanna hear? Yeah. What if we take the most dumbest freshmen we find? We have them hang out with us, go to parties, go to football games. I'll just hang out okay, with Okay, hold us. up. You're saying to hang out with the freshmen. Yeah. That's low, man. No, we have a reputation to keep, right? Shut up and keep listening. You think I'll be hanging out with the freshmen for fun? No, it's a prank. We'll have them come to prom with us, and then we'll announce it to everybody at prom that it was all just a big joke. We'll laugh, he'll cry, and then we'll go down as the coolest seniors ever, and people will love us even more. Yeah, it's all fun and games until someone sees us hanging out with the freshmen. It's okay, there's a senior board meeting after school today. I'll tell them about it, then all the seniors will know, and they'll all be in on it. It'll be like a lesson to all those loser freshmen who think that they can be cool. What do you think, Bianca? Bianca? Hello, Earth to Bianca. Rodney told me not to talk. Anyways, who's the lucky freshman? I know, just a guy. Well, even if it's not your fingertips, ah, but it's fingers. Ah.
PE can be pretty tough, huh? I'm Jeremy, by the way. And this is Rodney, and this is Bianca. What's up? Hi, I'm Gabe. I believe we've met before. Not formally. Shh. I just want to apologize for teasing you lately. I'm sorry. Okay, I forgive you. To make it up to you, why don't you have lunch with us tomorrow? What? I thought freshmen were allowed to sit with students. Dude, I'm the king of this school. If it's cool with us, then it's cool with them. Um, okay. Alright, so we'll see you? Yeah. You know those three bullies that were antagonizing me in gym today? Yeah, what about them? They invited me to go to lunch with them. Oh no, don't do it, it's a trap! Yeah, there's no way they're being serious about that. A freshman being with the seniors? That's unheard of, man. Yeah, Gabe, use your common sense. It's probably just a prank or something. Promise us you won't go? I promise! <sighs> I don't <laughs> um, is that my woman on the phone? Give me my phone back, Dylan. <laughs> I tell her that I'm gonna be thinking about it tonight. I'm sorry, that was my brother. He has a huge crush on you, Sam. Okay, ew. Hey, Gabe. Where were you at lunch yesterday? I, I, I got nervous. What was there to be nervous about? I, I thought you guys were going to pull a prank on me. Prank? Who told them about a prank? Who told you about a prank? N no one. I just, I mean, I thought you were going to hurt me. Okay, we get it. We said we were sorry. But listen, it's not every day that the coolest seniors ask you to hang out with them. If anyone told you about a prank, it's probably just because they're jealous. Come on. So Gabe, tell us more about yourself. Ooh, what do you want to know? Do you like snow globes? Sure. I feel that. So anyways, how do you like high school so far? Having lunch with Jeremy and his gang was downright awkward. They kept asking me questions about things I was completely not ready for. Have you ever made it past first base? You could fight any celebrity, who would you fight? The new football team's gonna go back to state this year? I was so clueless. I doubt they would even invite me back to lunch. Well, I gotta get to gym. Hold on. How about we walk together? I was walking down the okay. hallway with them, and they didn't trip me or stuff me in a garbage can. They were treating me like a human. And in gym class, it was so bizarre. Instead of laughing at me, Jeremy and his crew were actually helping me in gym. Coach Callis didn't yell at me once. It was great. So, uh, Gabe, you come and sit with us at lunch tomorrow? Uh, uh, see ya? Sure. Dude, where were you at lunch today? You're not gonna believe it. The seniors asked me to have lunch with them. Why? What did we tell you? I'm sorry, I just really wanted to see what it was like. And plus, they were really nice to me. Wow, what, what, what's their names? One of them is Bianca, and she likes snow globes. I love snow globes. One of, the, one of the other ones is Rodney, he's kind of smart. And their leader is pretty much Jeremy, he's really cool. They invited me to have lunch with them tomorrow though. You should go. Dean! Sorry, if, if Senior offered you to go to lunch with them, you go! Do you know how many people wish to be in Gabe's shoes? I'm one of them. Whatever. What? Hello? Hey, Samantha. How are you doing? Just trying my best to care about my AP Bio homework. Oh, uh, I could help you if you like. Oh, no, I got it, thank you. You're not the only prodigy child, you know. <laughs> so what's up? Why'd you call? Um, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You seemed a little bit upset earlier. Oh, you mean about you hanging out with the seniors? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm fine. Don't, don't worry about me. It's just, uh... It's just... It's just... 
I don't want you to get hurt. I'm, I'm not gonna get hurt. Gabe, hello. They're seniors. I told you this before. Seniors equal pernicious beasts. When pernicious beasts are hungry, they hunt for fresh meat. I think this whole thing is gonna turn to a bloodbath and I don't know. Sam, they've had a change of heart. They're my friends now. They, they would not hurt me whatsoever. Okay, fine. I'll let you be a man and make your own choices. <laughs> you sound more like a mom than Val does. It's just, I really care about you. That's all. I, I really care about you too. Well, um, okay. I should get back to doing my homework now or I'm gonna be up all night. I need my beauty sleep. We're going to my house after you're gonna come with. Isn't that skipping? So? Wouldn't we get in trouble for it? Only if we get caught. And that's not gonna happen. So you're our friend now. We got your back. Okay, let's do it. could have came down and pecked out my eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Let's just get in the house. I couldn't wait to tell Dean, Sierra, and Samantha about my day. So today, I hung around with Jeremy and the gang. After lunch, we went to his house. What, what does his house look like? Miraculous. It's literally a mansion. So wait a minute. You totally skipped school then? Yeah, so? So you can get in trouble for that. Right, what does his dad do for a living? His mom doesn't do anything, but his dad's a big-time film director. Really? What, wait, what did he direct? Um, Rough and Tough, Pound Fest. Wait, his dad directed Pound Fest? That movie is boss. Yeah, and the best part is, when Jeremy can't have his way, he acts like a total brat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jan, this conversation is boring me to tears. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my girl Sammy. I'll talk to you guys later. What's wrong with them? I don't know, man. We should hook me up with that movie, Pound Fest. Good night, Dean. So how does this bedroom look? Who cares? I do. Look, I don't know if you noticed or not, but they're humans, not some sort of Olympian god. They eat, sleep, and breathe, just like the rest of us. They may rule the school now, but once they graduate, they're just another face in the crowd. Can you it up? Just the atmosphere. S sorry, bad joke. Can we get some privacy? Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Who are those lizards you were just talking to? Those are my friends, Sierra, Sam, and Dean. Dude, they're not cool. If you're gonna hang out with me and my crew, you're gonna have to ditch the geek, the freak, and the too much to eat. You're bringing down your coolness, man. Capiche? Um, capiche. So there's an end of the semester party tomorrow at my house at night. You're coming. Wait, wait, you're inviting me? A freshman? Yeah, man, you're cool. Are your parents gonna be out of town or something? Nah, I locked them in their bedroom. They won't be coming out. Oh. So, see you at lunch tomorrow? Yeah. After lunch, Jeremy and the gang decided to skip the rest of school again. Hey Dad, can you buy some drinks for me and my friends at the party tonight? Alright, cool. Well that's done. We got drinks. Woo! Woo! Okay, just let me go to this party. Uh, no. I know what happens at parties. I was in high school like two years ago, and I do not want you around that. But Valerie, if I don't go to the party, my new friends are gonna think I'm from like Loserville or something. You really shouldn't care about what other people think. If they're really your friends, they won't care. It sounds like a freaking Hallmark card. I don't want to hear any more about this from you. Oh my God. Hey, Gabe. Hey, Jeremy. 
You still coming to the party tomorrow night? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I can't go. What? Why? Because my sister says I can't. So? So I just can't. Sneak out, duh. Sneak out? I can't do that. Okay? Alright, see you tomorrow. Bye. Seriously. I knew he'd fall for it. Seriously. <laughs> oh. I knew you'd come to your senses. <laughs> I see that my sister is yelling, but all I heard was blah, blah, blah. I couldn't concentrate on what she was saying. There were so many distractions. First, I had this pounding migraine. No matter how many Tylenols I took, it still wouldn't go away. Second, my sister's voice was extra loud. It felt like she was screaming right in my ear. So you're trying to be cool and you're trying to fit in right now, but really? Never mind. She was. Third, why are all these lights so bright? Last time I checked, the sun was located in the solar system, not in my kitchen. I don't know how I will ever trust you again, and you know what? I don't want you hanging out with those seniors anymore. Understood? Whoa, but, but sis. Oh, so now I'm your sister? Whatever. The following Monday at school, the gang was talking about Jeremy's party, and guess what? I was actually holding a conversation with him. Yo, Jeremy, that party was the fly last weekend. Yeah, I had a blast. I know. I was finally becoming a part of the group. And every time an upperclassman tried to mess with me, Jeremy would always put them in their place. Hey man, step off. He's a special freshman. Well, sorry. They were even calling me the special freshman. How cool is that? Hey, where are you going? Oh, Samantha's mom is outside. Me, Sierra, Dean, and Samantha are gonna go to a movie. Well, why didn't you tell me about this sooner? I'm sorry. Well, do you have money at least? Yeah, I got money. Okay, we'll have fun, I guess. Buddies! They invited me everywhere. <laughs> Hanging with Jeremy and his gang is great because every other senior knew not to mess with me. It was like I was one of them now, one of the cool seniors. How many freshmen can say that? I hate to say, but I have been ignoring Dean, Sierra, and Sam for a while now. It wasn't intentional every time, but wow. you heard what Jeremy said. It brought down the coolness. My freshman actually thinks he's cool. What do you mean? He's hanging out with Jeremy O'Neill. The Jeremy O'Neill. He's the definition of cool. Well, obviously you're not up to date on the current events. Those seniors are just trying to make that kid think that he's friends with them. And then at prom, they're gonna pour meat juice all over him and reveal that it was all a prank. Did you? Ouch. I feel sorry for that kid. Well, that's what he gets. I mean, what makes him think that freshmen can be friends with seniors? <laughs> hey, Sam. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. In private? It's urgent. Can it's you leave? Go throw a football or something. Do you know who I am? Jeffrey, Jeremiah, Jericho. I really don't care. The only thing I came over here for was to talk to my friend. And she tried to get my friend back. Because ever since he's been hanging out with you brain deads, he's been ignoring me and all his other real friends. First off, it's Jeremy. And second off, I told Gabe if he wants to hang out with us, that he's gonna have to ditch you losers. Uh, can you totally? Um, yeah, yeah. 
Whatever. I knew that I was wrong, but what was I supposed to say? Jeremy would have probably kicked me out of the group if I disagreed with him. He would have done the same thing, right? Next day at school was awkward, as expected. Sam, just talk to me. That's what you get for being a jerk. Yeah. Whatever, Dean. You're the one who told me to be friends with him in the first place. I don't think you would turn him back on us. We were your friends. You guys are my friends. It's just... What's happened to you? Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. It's all I ever hear anymore. You might as well just get his name tattooed on you or something. Whatever. You're just jealous I'm friends with Jeremy and his gang and you're not. Jealous? Maybe. Just maybe. Instead of thinking I'm jealous, you should think, hmm, maybe Sam's trying to help me. Maybe she's trying to keep me from getting my feelings hurt. Like I said, you're just jealous. You're only saying that because you'll never fit in with the seniors that I'm friends with. You really think they're your friends, don't you? You're just a part of their senior prank. You're just a joke to them. Whatever, just go crawl under a rock. No one will notice. Why don't you just go suck electricity? Needless to say, Sierra, Samantha, and Dean weren't talking to me anymore. We've gone about two months without saying a word to each other, which was fine because I had my real friends. Uh, can you carry this for me? Yes. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Jeremy, who are you taking to the prom? I don't know, like Hannah Hoiby, Cece Phillips, Leah Gaffney, or Kayla Dow. But what about Kara Smith, Jody Jones, or there's that Stewart girl? Why don't you take all 14? Only name seven. I could have sworn I heard you say 14 names. They have last names, too. Oh, look, my name is Bianca Owens. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. I got it. Hope you guys have fun. I won't be going, of course. Of course you are. You're going. What are you talking about? Prom is a senior only dance. Yeah, but if we get you a date, who in their right mind would want to go with the freshman to prom? Hi, are you Gabe Pittman? Whoa, who is she? I've never seen anyone so alluring. Look at the way her beautiful hair glistens in the light. And look at those eyes. Those beautiful hazel eyes. And wow, look at those sparkling white teeth of magnificence. She should totally be in a Colgate commercial. I knew it at first sight that she was the eco to my system. That's what my mom named me. Um. I mean, yeah, I'm Gabe. I'm Gabe. Oh, okay. Well, I've been eyeing you for a while and I uh, think you're kind of cute, so what do you say to going to prom with me? <laughs> Wait. Me? Yeah, you're um, smart and. I think you're kind of cute, so uh, what do you say? Absolutely. Great. Cool. See you at prom. How did you get Megan to ask you about it? It's kind of awkward, but I got her a job working for my dad. <sighs> Congrats, dude. You're like an official pimp now. I'm going to marry her. Dude, I love her. <laughs> Today was a great day for me. First, I got a date to prom, and I got my report card. I made all A's, whoop, whoop. but not all of us were in a state of euphoria. Jeremy, Jeremy, what are you doing? Jeremy, stop! Jeremy, what's wrong? What's wrong? Dude, I'm failing algebra. Dude, you're failing algebra. Dude, that sucks for you. I have a B. Man, you gotta get on your game. I mean, even A's are not that good. Dude, you gotta get on your game. Dude, shut up. I have a B. Man, you gotta get on your game. I mean, even I have a C. Dude, shut up. I have a test tomorrow, and I don't get any of this crap. I'm, I'm really good at math. I could tutor you if you want. Dude, this isn't that one plus one kind of crap that you're talking about. This is 12th grade algebra. You'd be totally lost in that class. You want to bet? Yes. Right. This is easy. Look, a right triangle in the first quadrant is bounded by lines y equals zero and x equals five. Y equals negative x plus five. When m equals one, it means m two is equal to negative one, right? So and you so, live here by yourself? Uh, my sister works two jobs. Where are your parents? They passed away when I was eight. Oh. 
I'm sorry. No need to apologize. It's just life it happens. So do you have any other siblings? One younger brother. No older brothers? No, but I always wish I had one to look up to and do all the fun things with. Oh. The next day, I was proud to know that my tutor lessons paid off. Jeremy made a B on his test, which brought his grade up to a C. Mm, C minus, actually. But hey, he can graduate, as long as he keeps it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm gonna graduate. Welcome. Yeah, you're the best, man. He couldn't thank me enough. Okay, now this is getting awkward. But seriously, thank you, man. You're welcome. What are brothers for? What? Is, is it cool if I call you that? Why? You're just... You're the big brother I've always wanted. Uh, okay. Sure. Oh, awesome. Alright, see you, bro. See ya. The following Saturday was prom night. We all met up at Jeremy's house beforehand and took pictures. Ooh, girl, you better work that dress. Yes. Hey, you guys, let's take a picture. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. It seemed as though everyone was excited, except for Jeremy. Jeremy, you okay? Yep, just driving. All right, bro. That's cool. Let's party. How could life get any better? I've got the greatest friends, I've got the hottest girl at school as my date, and it's all thanks to my big brother, Jeremy. I think I might cry. Life is wonderful. say you're all food is slamming. Oh, that's not a good word. You shouldn't be using that. That's not good on you. Well, I ain't tell ya. I'm having a time out there. Hey, Jeremy, why aren't you dancing? I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm tired. You ready to fry the fresh meat? <laughs> get it? Fresh meat? <laughs> Dude, shut up. I didn't mean to talk to you guys about that. I don't think we should go on with it. What? Dude, you can't back out now. We're so close. Seriously, you've been pretending to like this freshman all year, and now you want to back down? You guys don't understand. His parents died. And ever since then, he's had to take care of his little brother and me. He told me he always wanted a big brother, and lately that's what he's been calling me. And I really don't want to let him down. Okay, we understand. We don't have to go through it. Really? <laughs> no. Why'd you get such a soft spot freshman? He's a really good kid. He doesn't deserve this. What he deserves is some dance lessons. Guys, please don't. Bianca, let's get this over. Guys, please. Guys, wait, don't. Seriously. Palm assaults, please. Don't mind if I do. Palm assaults. Oh, thank you. Y'all having a good time tonight? Yeah. Good to hear, good to hear. Well, I have for you the results for the senior queen and king for prom. Right here in this old hand. This young gentleman's gonna read the results. I need all available staff, the boys' bathroom, staff, and now. I can't even enjoy my food. Why can't these teenagers just get along? Ladies and gentlemen. Your prom, you can keep your Taking pots? What? Me? This has got to be a mistake. The seniors love me so much they voted me their prom king?
It's clear. This is a special announcement from your brother, Jeremy. Hey, no nuts. Point the camera over here. Hey, Gabe. I bet this whole time you were hanging out with those seniors thinking you were pretty awesome, huh? Well, guess what? It was all just a big prank. Bianca and Rodney were both in on it, too. Yep, we decided we'd pick the most pathetic freshman, have him come hang out with us, invite him to prom, and then tell him it was all a joke. Unfortunately for you, that freshman is you. You're pathetic. <laughs> we don't even like you. Bianca doesn't like you. Rodney doesn't like you. You're really an idiot. Like, dead serious. You're probably one of the stupidest people I know. But, um... I don't know. I, I, I guess really, if you think about it, that's more sad than anything yeah. else. I mean, you left all your friends just so you could hang out with us. And we don't even like you. Your prom date doesn't even like you. I just got her to go with you because my dad offered her a job. You're pathetic, dude. <clears throat> and I think it's funny how you think that, like, a low-life freshman can hang out with us, the cool seniors. Well, I'm sorry, my friend, but high school does not work that way. Someone's coming. <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> have a good cry. All right, let's go. This can't be true. My friends, my popularity, my prom date, everything. A lie. I don't know how to describe this feeling right now. My body's just so heated. It was like my whole body just caught on fire, partly from the harsh embarrassment and partly from anger. How could Jeremy do this to me? I thought he was my friend. Most importantly, I thought he was my brother. Just like your mom. Don't talk about my mom! Whatever, he's just a self pretentious spoiled jerk. I'm the only reason you graduated high school in the first place, and this is how you thank me! You know what? It doesn't matter, because after high school, you're not gonna be anything. Have fun with your last month, dude. Because after, after high school, you're gonna be nothing. If you need to talk... I said I'm fine, I'll leave. Wait! Where do you see me ten years from now? Well, as successful, of course. Like, career-wise? Nah, uh, maybe playing for the NFL, playing football. Let's be more realistic. I mean, chances of that are pretty slim. Uh, well, um, 
If all else fails, son, you can come work for me. Come on, Dad. Seriously? Uh, well, we would need actors like you. Uh, you've got the body for it. I I'm just putting it out there. Go away. Hey, what's wrong, bro? Nothing, I'm fine. Right, you're obviously not okay. Fine. What's going on? Nothing. Listen, on. don't get mad at me, but... You know how I told you I've been hanging out with my friends? Uh, I've actually been hanging out with those three seniors. Are you serious right now? I already got my punishment. Those three seniors were just using me as part of a prank. <sighs> All a big prank. They, they pretended to like me so then I could be their friend. They embarrassed me so much. Now I don't even have my real friends. Dean, Sierra, and Samantha don't even want anything to do with me. <sighs> they just use me and this is, I feel terrible. Doesn't karma suck? Valerie. It's okay, I forgive you. And I'm sure your friends will forgive you too. I don't know, I feel like I've really hurt them. <laughs> I'm sure they'll forgive you. You're still grounded, though. <sighs> Alright, sis. I love you. Love you, too. On Monday, it felt like a huge gray cloud was hovering over me the entire day. <laughs> Samantha, Sierra, and Dean still didn't want to talk to me. Sierra, Samantha, look, you guys, I'm really sorry. And to avoid Jeremy and the gang, I skipped gym class. So I'll hang out in the restroom stall studying for finals. Or maybe I should just go to the library. All right, we're going to play two seven-minute halves for flag football today. We're going to start with the kickoff from the large numbers on the field. So that's where the team that's going to kick off. Jeremy, Rodney, and Bianca we need to go to the principal's office. Like I was saying, Okay, you start with the kickoff at the large numbers, and then... I can't believe Bianca skipped out on this. I know, there's no way this is about the prank. Come on in, gentlemen. Shut the door behind you. Take a seat. You two gentlemen want to explain this to me? Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's a poster. It goes on walls. Oh, a poster, huh? Mm -hmm. Then why does it say seen your prank on here? Explain that to me. It's funny, right? See, fellas, I keep asking around, and the more I do, your three names keep coming up. And Rodney, you said there was a fight, and all the staff left the dance to go check out the fight. We got back and the doors were locked. Yeah, Bianca did that. Then I see you, Jeremy, having a confrontation with the freshman. Really? Cause I didn't see you there. Well, they did say that after graduation, you're not gonna amount to anything. Oh, you were there. So what exactly is this senior prank about anyway? The poster says it all. Basically, me, Rodney, and Bianca hung out with the freshman all year. Made him think he was one of us. Made him think he was cool, invited him to parties. Had him come to prom with us, and then at prom we announced it was all just a big lie. Real mature, guys. Real mature. I'm so sick of this freshman bullying stuff going around on this campus. Poor freshman. You know this one time? I had to pull a carrot out of a freshman's nose. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? That's not funny at all! Those carrots are meant for your eyes, not your nose. Hey, freshmen, still think you're cool? <laughs> they got you good. <laughs> for your punishment, you'll both be in after-school detention for the rest of the year. 
That's not all. You'll also help out the custodian cleaning up the cafeteria and the rest of the school. Understood, gentlemen? Understood. Look at the poor baby cry. <laughs> Might as well kill yourself. Are you okay? Are you okay? What happened? I don't know. He just ran out right in front of me. I didn't even see him. It didn't look like an accident to me. Dude, why the harsh punishment? It was just a joke. Well, dude, you don't joke around with people's emotions like that. Especially at his age. You guys don't know how fragile freshmen are. You don't think he'll, you know... All I'm saying, guys, is this is why I can't take it lightly. We've had many freshmen now come into our guidance counselor because of bullying. Some have contemplated suicide. Now I'm gonna bring this gentleman in and you two are both gonna apologize face to face. You understand me? Principal Bowles, there's been an accident at the bus ramp. Come quick. No, it's on the way. I don't know, he just, he ran right up in front of me. I didn't even see him. Okay, boy. Oh, man. Somebody get an ambulance, STAT. Gabe! Gabe, you're alive? Dude, calm down. I'm right here. Yeah, but you were dead. What are you talking about? I had a dream that I was at your funeral. And your brothers and sisters, and Dean and Sierra and Samantha, they were all there and they were pissed at me because I, I had killed you. But then somehow you came back and I was chasing you. And I couldn't get to you and then all of a sudden... And then you woke up screaming? I was screaming? Just a little. What is going on right now? Well, I'm in the hospital because I got hit by a bus. Apparently, the doctor said it ran me over and broke my foot. Next thing I know, I wake up here and look. Well, everyone at school said that you were upset about the prank. And so you jumped in the front of the bus to try it. Well. Sir. Visiting hours are over in 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. For the last time, I, Gabe Allen Pittman, did not try to kill myself, okay? The doctor asked because the school was saying it. Valerie asked me, and now you're asking me? No, I didn't. I'm sorry, I was just making sure, you know, I'm worried. I'm sorry, I'm just a little mad. If one more person tells me to go see a psychiatrist, I will kill myself. So, are you still, like, mad at me? Well, I did lose a lot of respect for you, and I'm not sure if I can trust you anymore. But today, something happened that changed my mind. What's that? The doctor told me that earlier, Rodney, Bianca, and Principal Bose were here. And, of course, you. When the doctor said that I was fine, they all left. But you refused to leave. And that, that's, that just changed my mind. Dude, you have no clue. I, I felt so bad that something I did could cause somebody to try and kill themselves. It was the worst feeling ever, dude. Well, thank you for staying. I appreciate it a lot. Hey, what are brothers for? <laughs> wow, that's cute. <laughs> Thanks for forgiving me. I didn't expect you to. I just want to get all this behind us. Start a new sleep. See, what's done is done, and we're moving on. <laughs> Appreciate. Ha! I knew that was cool! What? Uh, never mind. So, someone's gonna be graduating soon. What are your plans after high school? I have no clue. The only thing I'm good at is playing football and being popular. Maybe I could go to a college, but it'd have to be a community college. My grades aren't good enough for a four year. Maybe the military? I don't really know. 
Maybe you just have an undiscovered talent. I promise you, everyone has a talent they don't know about. We'll see. <laughs> and when I returned to school, Jeremy went on the school news and announced to everyone that I'm not suicidal. Yesterday, I went to go visit Gabe Pittman in the hospital. He is the freshman who was hit by the bus. There are rumors on whether or not he jumped in front of the bus to commit suicide. The rumors are not true. But I kept contemplating. What if he did try to commit suicide? What if he was successful? That would be guilt that we would have to live with for the rest of our lives. And to all the seniors, why do we even feel the need to pick on freshmen anyways? I really think it's because we're insecure. I'm insecure <laughs> because I feel I won't amount to anything after I graduate. And I see someone like Gabe who has so much responsibility. I guess to take care of his little brother, he recently started tutoring me in math, and he still manages to keep straight A's. To me, that's amazing. Gabe, you've always looked up to me as a big brother. But honestly, you've been more like a big brother to me. Because of Gabe, I'll be graduating this year. And I want everybody to know that I think Gabe is the coolest person at this school even cooler than me. And that's saying something. Hey, do you need any help? No, no, it's okay. I got it. No, let us help you. Come on, it'll be okay. Jeremy's speech must have given the seniors a change of heart because the rest of the school year, they treated us freshmen as actual human beings. We were allowed to sit anywhere in the cafeteria, including with the cool seniors, and it wasn't a prank. Guys, I need to go meet up with some friends right now. Oh, why don't we just walk this up to your new class for you? I mean, we don't want you to have to carry it around. Yeah, it's no problem at all. Uh, okay, it's 302. Okay. Well, that was nice, right? And now, it's time to tie up loose ends. Thank God you're alive! Hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Get off of him before he really does that. <laughs> Dude, we're so sorry that we couldn't visit you at the hospital yesterday. Not having a car yet really sucks. Yeah, we heard you're in critical condition in the hospital. We were wigging out. Yeah, can you forgive us? We really did want to come see you. Yeah. Wait, even after everything I've done, you still wanted to come see me? Yeah, man. We love you. I came out here to apologize to you guys. Now you guys are apologizing to me? What is that? Yeah, well, you realize that you fell in with the wrong crowd and that Sierra, Dean, and I were right all along, so it's all good. Yeah, that sums it up. Besides, being embarrassed in front of the entire senior <laughs> class is the satisfying of punishment, so I guess we'll forgive you. Thanks, I guess. Aw, uh, do I feel a group hug coming along? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. So, are you still friends with those seniors? We've made amends, yeah. Oh. Hey. hey, Gabe, um, we're really sorry about everything. I hope you can forgive us. I already have. We were also wondering if you guys would like to go to lunch with us. Are you sure it's not a prank? Okay, negative Nancy. Hey, my instincts were correct the first time, so I have my reasons. I assure you it is not a prank. Sam, just give him a chance. They had more in common than they thought. Oh. Uh, hey, I'm really sorry about the Western oh, picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up and die! I'm just kidding! <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the summer, we all continued to hang out. Jeremy even invited Sierra, Dean, and Sam to an end-of-the-year party. When it was time for senior graduation, Sierra, Samantha, Dean, and I were there to support Bianca, Rodney, and Jeremy. After graduation, Rodney was going to Harrington University to major in business. And as for Jeremy, I was helping him apply for colleges during summer. He got accepted to a community college, however, he decided that college wasn't for him. So he took his dad's acting offer, along with Megan. At least he found something else he was good at. Cut! That's a wrap! And when the next school year rolled around, high school was a totally different place. 
There were no freshmen being dumped in pools, being tripped in the hallways, or being stuffed in garbage cans. You guys. Hey. <laughs> Seniors finally allowed the freshmen to live in peace. Maybe jumping in front of a bus was a good idea after all. Come on, where's your sense of humor? Hi, are you Dave Pittman? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Dude, I got a B. You got a B? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Right, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, oh, God. Just you. I said 14 names. They have last names too. Oh, you mean like my name is Bianca Owens. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right. Are we done here? Uh, yeah. That's not my line. Real mature. You know what? I'm tired of these freshmen being bullied around here. I feel sorry for them. Okay, the other day, I had to pull a carrot out of a kid's nose. You guys think that's funny? Tits. Why are you laughing? I'll punch you right in the face. <laughs> 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 Get out of here. Get out Absolutely. Great. I'll see you at prom. What did I just do? Okay, action. Damn. Give me my phone. Damn. Throw it down. Throw it down. <laughs> Okay, throw it. Okay. Hey, boy. Wake up. What was that? You can't catch a ball. Is that it? Let me go meet her. <laughs> Dang. What's her name? Jackie. Jackie's face, Jackie. Dude, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see what it'd be like. And plus, they were really nice to me. My middleman is swag. Why? Just kidding. I think someone took my line what? before that. Okay. Um, I bet this whole time you were hanging out with the seniors thinking you were pretty awesome, huh? Well, guess what? It was all just a prank. Jeremy and... Oh, I'm Jeremy. Jeremy, Robbie, and I. Bianca. She's a nurse. Okay. Dude, you're alive? Dude, come down. I'm right here. Yeah, but you're dead. You're dead. Dead. Girls. Get. Get. Drop your glasses. Don't talk to me. Congrats, man. You're like an official pimp now. Thanks, dude. Just kidding. It's my I'm gonna marry her, dude. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Action. Congrats, man. You're like official pimp now. Thanks. I'm gonna marry her, dude. <laughs>